I'm Lindy Holland back here with ESPN Chattanooga, ESPNChattanooga.com, and the ESPN mobile app. And we are hanging out with Andy Fisher of the Chattanooga Lookouts. And Andy, take me back to the very beginning when you got that phone call telling you that you were joining the Chattanooga Lookouts. How did that feel? Ooh. That's a great question. Um, so I didn't actually get drafted, and I expected to get drafted because I had a great senior year at college. And the day after the draft, I was just pissed off to no end. I was like, God, how did I not get drafted? I just had like a two ERA my whole college season. So I was just killing time throughout the day. I actually went for a bike ride because I was so angry. I was like, I got to burn off some steam here. Kept my ringer on and pulled over to the side of the rail, got the phone call, and they were like, hey, do you want to come throw a baseball for the Cincinnati Reds? I was like, Sounds better than the banking job I was going to take. So, yeah, absolutely, let's do it. And it was just a whirlwind from there. Came in with all the other draft guys. I feel like I actually did get drafted because I was with them this whole process. And getting up here to Chattanooga has been awesome. Best city I've played in yet. Well, good. So you're from Illinois originally, is that correct? Ye yes. Ish? Yeah. Okay. Illinois, Ohio, Midwest. It's all okay, the same. same thing. Yeah. How do you like Chattanooga compared to back home? I don't want to make the people back home mad. Um, Speak the truth. This is... I lived here this past off season as well because I love this city. There's so much going on here. It's still small and growing, so you can see people you know all over the place. But it's got stuff going on. It's got the downtown, the river, the nature, everything. It's this is the best. I, I love Chattanooga. Good. I'm glad yeah. you like it. And back home will always be home, so it'll it'll always be special. Okay. So was playing professional ball your original goal from the beginning? Yes and no. So originally when I was like a kid, yeah, always wanted to be a professional baseball player. would come to these minor league games and see the guys, and it was awesome. They were rock stars to me. And then as I was going through college, I was like, wow, I'm really not that good at baseball, so I should probably start pursuing other things. So I took my actual studies way more seriously, accepted a great job in banking, and then I was like, I can't turn this down. Banking will always be there. I'm going to go ahead and pursue the dream. And it's gone further than I expected, which is awesome. Well, good. Congratulations. Well, I understand that you're a pitcher and you're a left-handed pitcher. So what advantages do you think you have by being a lefty? Yeah, so I match up really well against left-handed batters, mostly because my arm slot is way down low, so it looks like the ball is coming from behind a left-handed batter. It makes it a little more difficult for them to hit. And we just have so few left-handed pitchers in this whole organization that I have this little role carved out for me, a little bit of job security, which is great. If I was a right-handed pitcher, there's no way I'd still be playing. I'm not good enough to be a righty. <laughs> well, he said it, not us. So <laughs> if you weren't pitching, what position would you like on the field? Ooh, I'd go with center field. You get to see everything that's happening, anything that goes to the outfield or in action. I, I'll go center. Okay. And what's been your favorite restaurant here in the scenic city? Ooh, that's a good question. The easy answer is milk and honey. Like oh. we always go there for brunch on our off days. It's wonderful. Um, the best pizza spot I've had here so far, though, is a little place called Pizza Quartile up in Red Bank. I don't know why it's in the middle of nowhere, but it is excellent pizza. How it is delicious. It? You know, you've been there. Yeah, been there. Really? Yeah. I didn't think anyone else would have. I know there. Pizza Quartile, t technically is that how, it's how, how you oh, say it, but I like the way you said it better. Uh, so. All right. Well, now I know. Well, the last question I have for you is if you weren't playing baseball, what would you mm -hmm. be doing besides banking? Oh, gosh. If it's not banking, <laughs> um, I've always enjoyed bartending. That's kind of my off-season job. I'll go to wherever I'm living at the time and get a bartending gig to make money in the off-season. And I do enjoy those conversations with the people while you're getting them drunk. It's a win-win, <laughs> you know. But that's probably right enough, but I feel like I'm wasting my degree if I do that. I, I should have prepped for this question. This is on me. <laughs> well, no, you're a jack of all trades, so oh, you got a long resume. <laughs> well, this is Andy Fisher, and I'm Lundy Holland back here with ESPN Chattanooga, ESPNChattanooga.com, and the ESPN mobile app.